We have seen, James, as well, how ridiculous uh, virtue signalling is getting out of hand. So you've got Black Lives Matter, people bowing to Black Lives Matter, which is an anti-Semitic, anti-capitalist ideology. This is what they're bowing to. They're too stupid to realise it. We've also got virtue signalling out of control. Would you believe it? In the CFMEU, what a joke. Someone sent into outsiders this footage here of them doing a smoking ceremony on the... Uh, as they're pouring the concrete, about to build a massive high-rise. This is John Setka. What a complete farce. Have a look. Well, this is the first ceremony one of many that's going to happen in the future in the building industry. Just to let you know, uh, the EBA we negotiated, which is actually getting processed as we speak, one of the clauses we did put in there was in regards to our Indigenous brothers and sisters. And I think uh, it, it's been a bit of a travesty what's happened over the last few centuries. Um, this is Aboriginal land, always will be, was never succeeded and it was stolen. So Setka's building on stolen land, James, and explain the stupidity what? of this individual to him. He's yeah. building a massive concrete thing on stolen land. Uh, is he going to buy the land first? Is he going to compensate them? What is going on, James? Well, exactly. I mean, this is this is where the whole thing falls apart. I mean, it's it's great, you know, wonderful. Everybody can feel happy about this. Everybody can feel a connection. But ultimately, this is the real problem with this whole always was, always will be rhetoric. It 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 means that anything that you do essentially is illegitimate. I mean, yeah, you could say that this skyscraper, well, that's built on stolen land, so why are you condoning that, John Setka, if that is what you truly believe? Now, whether or not that is or not, I don't know. But it also points to the broader problem of this, um, you know, the rhetoric around reconciliation, which has moved away from, I think, reconciliation to quite a militant stance, which is you know, summed up by this idea that uh, that that this country is is illegitimate and that it will always be illegitimate. So watch this space because I suspect in 2021 we're going to see a lot more moves to take this to Parliament uh, with some of the various moves around, um, you know, a voice and all of that. This militant thinking is going to get louder and louder, and I think ultimately it's going to hurt the cause of those who are looking for genuine reconciliation. Rita? I just can't understand if he believes he's on stolen land, why he's pouring concrete <laughs> exactly. and being complicit, <laughs> being complicit in ensuring that land is never returned to its rightful owners. <laughs> exactly. Because his, those apartments are going to be sold, there's going to be titles. I mean, if you actually believe that, give up the title to your house. Don't partake exactly. in mm -hmm. behaviour that you say is criminal, that is thievery. So if you think this is always was, always will be, first thing you do if you own a house is take the title and hand it over to the rightful owner because otherwise you're just a grandstanding hypocrite.